In this table, we have a column with checkboxes. The countries which have a ticked checkbox are those whose populations have been verified, while the countries without a ticked checkbox indicate that they have not been verified. In the first row, we want to find the population of countries which have been verified. So we use the SUMIF function, equal SUMIF, open parenthesis, and the first parameter is the range that's being tested or the criteria range. And that is the checkbox range. So the checkbox range is in B2 to B15. So we choose that range. What is a criterion? Well, the criterion is countries which are verified. To do this, we type in equal true, because if it's checked, it will be equal to true. If it is not checked, it will be equal to false. The third parameter, is the sum range, the range that needs to be summed, and that's the population. So we choose C2 to C15. Close the parenthesis. We've got 60,917,000. Let's do a quick test equals sum everything that's been checked. There we go. We've got the correct answer. What if we want to do row two, which is countries which are not verified? Well, we can use the SUMIF function, equals SUMIF, open parenthesis. The first parameter is the criterion range, and that is the range that's being tested by the criterion that is verified or not, or checked or not. So we use the checkbox. We choose B2 to B15. What is the criteria? countries which are not verified. So in this case, it will be equal to false. That is, it's unchecked. And the third parameter is the sum range. That is the range that needs to be summed. We want to sum up the population. So we choose C2 to C15. We've got 63,323,000. So let's do a quick test. If we had to do this, we choose these and notice we've got the same answer. That's it for the SUMIF functions everyone. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.